Can I get this picture for you? Hi guys. Let's see if I can get as much of this in as possible. It's a pretty hard thing to do to be honest. Um okay, I'm gonna be looking at chat over here and I've got the video going there. Right, I'll let people join if they're going to. It took me so long to come live anyway, probably everyone's out. Hi Brett, ooh, bath bombs, yay. Nice to see you darling, thank you for joining me. Yes, I'm here to make some Christmassy bath bombs. Can I make you a mod Brett please? In case I need help, yeah? Because obviously I'm going to be busy doing this stuff. Right, in my bowls here I've got the same mixture as I always use for bath bombs and I've put a description, a link in the description below as to the recipe for a video that I add my recipe in. I didn't have time to do it all on live stream. Thank you, darling. I know a couple of people are out picking up the kids at the moment, so I'm gonna get mixing up all the ingredients. These are all my dry ingredients in here. And then I've got some uh, apricot kernel oil there, which I, I tend to go for apricot kernel oil. Um, because some kids have uh, nut allergies and almond oil can trigger that, so I go for apricot. I've got bicarbonate of soda, citric acid. Um, it gets very dusty, by the way. Um, bicarbonate of soda, citric acid in a two to one formula, and there's some grind up ground up pink Himalayan sea salt in here, some corn flour, um, some tapioca starch, some cowling clay and um, some SLSA, just a very small amount of SLSA to help um, make a little bit of bubbles and prevent that scummy ring from around the bath that you often get, you know. I was trying to go live all weekend, it just didn't work out so I thought right I'm going live now. How are you, Brett? SLSA is sodium laurel sulfur acetate. It's um, a chemical um, which it, it comes from coconut fibre. There is a, a chemical that's man-made. Hello, Sammy. Thank you for joining me, darling. There's one that's man-made, which is called SLS, I think. Um, no. Yeah, SLS. And that's... Um, Nah, quite nasty but this is like from um coconut comes from coconuts so it's more natural because i don't really like to put anything that's not too good for you but it creates the bubbles and it prevents the um, scum in the bath so it's um really helpful and makes some lovely bath bombs makes the colors melt into the bath water well as well sammy your laughter yesterday I watched that, I was so determined not to laugh because you know, Rose was upset and I thought, oh dear, I don't want to upset her any further, I love Rose to pieces and that. And then I watched your laughing, it was just your laughing that absolutely cracked me up, I was, oh, you're brilliant. I know you didn't mean any harm by it as well, you know, it was just an accident, wasn't it, and it's unfortunate, but these things happen, unfortunately. I'm clumsy as hell, so... Like, I can't say anything. I've broken so many things in my lifetime. Okay. So the ingredients are kind of mixed together as best as I can get them. And then I'm going to choose some colours. And I'm, the first batch I'm doing are for girls. Yeah, I think people were laughing about the situation. I think, um, I think I didn't watch the whole video yet, and I really need to. But um, 
yeah, I think, you know, it got a bit out of hand, but it didn't need to be a big deal, really. Um, I think Rose was fairly upset, but <laughs> hopefully <clears throat> apologies have helped sort of soothe, soothe the pain for that, you know. It's, um, it is unfortunate, but these things do happen. And, and, and Griff is just so, you know, he, he don't mean to do it, does he? Yeah. Yeah, I, I laugh all the time when I'm embarrassed. I'm terrible for it. I've literally laughed in the worst situations. Right, this one here is the apricot kernel oil. I'm going to have some cocomida propyl betaine. Now, this stuff also adds bubbles to the water. It is a chemical, unfortunately, but it's, um, it's used in toothpastes and stuff like that, so it's really quite safe chemical. And I'm, I'm using that because it does help make the kids go get all excited when they see the bubbles and that, you know. So... The both and then in here I'll put some I had to keep my cat cat cats out they're all outside the door crying at me yeah I think that'd be nice Sammy because I know your intentions are good I know you're a sweetheart and you wouldn't hurt, want to hurt anybody's feelings ever um, I think it just got a bit out of hand really yeah the thing is you do laugh at the situations and and it yeah it's the sort of thing that i do all the time so i do laugh at it but i know you wouldn't have intended to upset rose i don't think anybody really intended to upset rose there was a little bit of commenting that was unnecessary and disrespectful um I'd like to, um, I need to find, like, through Rose's videos, actually, the older ones to tell the whole story. I want to know the whole story about Hell's House. It's very interesting from what I can gather. There's certainly some stuff going on there. I wouldn't say um, that there isn't anything going on there, that's for sure. I'm getting all dust up my nostrils, so excuse me if I sniff. Need some coffee. Right, we're going for girls today. What fragrance are we going to use? I'll be over here picking a fragrance out, babes. Oh my god, that sounds brilliant, Sammy. See, I really wanted to try doing that. Um, for young ladies, I think we will go with. I've got some brilliant fragrances in here at the moment. I've got Hocus Pocus, which is what I'm going to make. I was going to make, um, I've got planned to make lots of soaps for all the different paranormal channels that I support. Um, and I've got like elemental count encounters in my head for, um, for a certain soap that I want to make them. And that's going to be um, with the Hocus Pocus fragrance oil. I can't wait for that. I, but I haven't, like, obviously I haven't got on with doing any of these things and I really need to because it was, I had such good plans and I brought all the moulds and everything. So, and I've got like all these cool little like fairies and stuff. Ginny, yay! Oh my God, I'm so glad to see you. And I'm so glad that you're okay, darling. Welcome to my live stream. Oh, I call Sam, I can't wait to watch that. Can you hear my kitten crying? Yeah, there's one of the cats in the room, that Storm. I had to let him in because he's a naughty boy. No, he's not a naughty boy, but he was like, he'll sit down there quietly, whereas the girls will not leave me alone. Like, Sunny's out the door crying because she wants to come in and rub all over me all the time. can't get the lid off. This is the thing with my fingers. They're useless. Ugh. 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 Ah, got it. Oh my god, it smells so good. Bubblegum fragrance oil for kids. Perfect, isn't it, really? 
I need to measure that now. Actually, I'm, mm, mm, yeah, now I'll measure it. Okay. Oh, no, I saw you get a donation. I was so pleased for you. That's brilliant, isn't it? Hi, Martha. Thanks for joining me, darling. Excuse me while I pull my trousers up. Um, yeah, I was really pleased you got a donation. Brett, you really deserve it. Anyone that wants to get a good tarot reading, and I mean a proper good tarot reading, can pop on over to Above Paranormal's channel. He's a very, very talented man. I think he's very skilled. So anyone watching who likes the tarot, please do pop on to Above Paranormal. And if you like the paranormal, pop on to Laugh After Life TV Productions as well. Sammy over there is a, a very talented, skilled woman. She's got a lot, a lot of knowledge to share. And I would suggest um, anyone join both, both of those groups if they have a love for the paranormal. You can see my awful floor, look. I still haven't got any flooring. Right, what do I want to do first? I'm going to go in with the oil first. I haven't made bath bombs for, so, for so bloody long. I really don't even know what I'm doing. Um, right. We've got colours. There's amethyst. This one's a red. Yeah, you do. See, you work very hard with it. So, you know, you do deserve some recompense. I don't understand when people say, oh, oh, mediums shouldn't make money. Surely they, sure they shouldn't, like, use it to make money, like some do. Um, like to abuse their powers. But, of course, you know, you're, you're working hard. You're putting a lot of effort and a lot of your soul into it. So, yeah, of course you have a right to earn something out of it. And it's nice if it comes by donation rather than having to ask for it. <laughs> That's right, Ginny, you know me and my cats. Hi, Cherry Bloom. Yay. I thought I'd better get something done for Christmas. I've had a few people ask me for some bath bombs, so I'm like, I've got to do it for the kids, innit? It, yeah, above paranormal streams are absolutely stunning. Right, I'm going to use the um, mixer for a minute, guys, so it's going to get a bit loud, I'm afraid. Um, I normally edit the sound out for you guys for that. <laughs> Hi Ruby Jules, <laughs> how are you darling? Right, this one's a pink, it, these are special bath bomb dyes, they are very, very strong dyes. Um, and they colour the water as well as the bath bomb, which is so cool, so cool. And because it's for young ladies, we're going to go very pink and we are going to go with... Um, Glitter, glitter, glitter. Lots of glitter. I'm good, thank you. I'm glad to be creating something. And then this is amethyst, which comes up like a purpley pink. My kids will be home at any point as well, so... Just mix that in a bit and as I add the liquid you'll see the colour come up it's quite cool I like that effect that it does yes uh, elemental encounters are on tonight hopefully from Hell's House Paranormal and I'm really excited about that because I think they really will they're gonna perfect it because I, I've always felt that it was the right place for them I don't know if anyone else feels that um, it just fits them it feels like it would suit them you know uh, when I said that it I didn't think that um, we the brothers would go for it I didn't mean any disrespect to them as such but I just thought that they wouldn't go for the whole haunted hat like poltergeist and dolls and stuff because uh, uh, you know they're um, usually quite not interested in that sort of thing the more extreme stuff I don't know but anyway <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I can't wait to see it. I really can't. You want to learn how to make bath bombs? Well, you can learn right here with me. Um, I also have a parent, uh, Facebook group and page that I share all my videos and that too. So, And I'm getting um, it going with Ginny and a couple of others where we're going to be all sharing our work together. So, you love my kitty shirt. I've had to lock the cats out of the kitchen except for the one. I, I feel weird about not having them around me. Right, excuse the sound guys, you might want to turn it down. Pages, Mama Cat, Soap and Spoony. Maybe I'll find me. Um, my name's Cassandra Bird. If you want to look at me through that way, but yeah, Mama Cat, Soap and Spoony. I think if you type in Mama Cat, I come up now quite often, which is nice. I got these. Um, Matt, I'll, I'll wait until I've finished this because otherwise we aren't in. So making bath on making is quite therapeutic, it really is. I honestly was so depressed and um, in a really dark place with my disability. Um, before I learned soap making was something I could do. And um, it's got me up and moving again and doing things again even if i can only do it once a month or so it's so worth it because it's just it's soothing to myself it makes me a happy bunny all right go over this one yeah yeah my whole house ends up smelling nice everyone always comments when i'm creating like you can smell it, especially when I do like the chocolate orange and that. Everybody loves the chocolate orange stuff. And mint, minty stuff. Oh, it's so fresh whenever I do minty stuff. cleaned everything before I started with alcohol and now I'm going to have to clean everything afterwards as well. <laughs> the purple is starting to show up slightly now. It takes a little while for the water to, or the moisture to get into the colours and that because it's often mixing into a big batch. Make sure I'm getting it all mixed up. I actually prefer to do this by hand, but because of my hands being quite bad and I don't want to make them worse at the moment, I, I've decided to go with the tools. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Sam. I'm glad you like it. I think I need some more of the liquids in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm always getting everything kept in there anyway, so it's even better when you start spilling stuff, especially like fragrance oils and that, because they're very hard to get rid of. <laughs> the kids end up tasting it for ages. <laughs> Okay, 
Now I'm going to go in with the fragrance oil. This is enough for this one and then I'll pour out enough for the other one because obviously I've got two different size batches. Like you kind of have to keep most of the fluids moving. Oil itself won't um, activate the mix. But um, some of the others will like fragrance oil and this stuff. Um, Copamide propyl betaine or Coco B as we sometimes call it. Yeah, that's um, that can be uh, like it makes it all bubble and fizz up like you want to in the bath. So you've got to try and add it and move the stuff quickly. So here we go. That's it. The colour's coming up. Look, I love this bit. Absolutely fabulous. I like the way the colour changes. gives me so much pleasure that I haven't seen that happen for ages I've not done anything for ages and I've missed it so much <laughs> wait till I get the glitter going a bitch day bath experience Brett yeah do you want a crazy one <laughs> I've actually got the perfect fragrance oil for your channel soap Brett so I'm going to make I'm going to do these soaps yeah and I've got the perfect fragrance oil. It's called Millionaire. It's after the Millionaire, um, like, um, aftershave, you know. Like posh. Posh men's aftershave. It's really yummy. And I think that'll be perfect for your one. Because you're a bit of a gentleman now, Brett. Not that anyone else isn't a gentleman, of course. <laughs> Kirsty, I saw them uploading. That was what I wanted to say. These that I've got these bowls on, yeah, I've got like sticky mats underneath. Um, Warability Life sent me them. Like before they stopped um, recording, they sent me them as a, a gift parcel. Like I was so pleased because they noticed that I was always my bo uh, bowls are always moving about while I'm working, and they're brilliant. Look at how my bath. Bowls are standing still without me hurting myself holding on. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? This pink, really pretty. You can get all shades with these because they're called um, easy colours. And they're special for bath bombs, right? And they are just brilliant. You can get, like, depending on how much you use, you can do every shade going. I've got some lumps in here that need going through, but. I'll rub together a bit with my hands, but um, I can't do it all with my hands. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I've done it before where I've lifted it out of the bath bomb material while it's been going round. Do I have a link for the bowls? These bowls, I think I just got these from Tesco's. Um, literally like a pound from Tesco's, Ginny, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't think you've got a Tesco's, have you? It's like strawberry sherbet. It does really look like it. This is um, called Polysorbate 80. And I'm only going to add a tiny amount. It just helps with the um, mixing into the water and not getting the scum around the edges. Which is one of the things we all hate about bath bombs. Yeah, I saw her making you the elf on the shelf thing. Oh my God, I'm so glad that they're okay. I was so worried about them. I was literally like, I didn't know what to do. I thought, should I write to them? Should I? Oh. Anyway, I'm very glad to see they're okay. But look at what social services have done to them, you know? Just, oh. When I went through getting my care, it was so hard. And like literally I got turned down for it at first and I, at the time I was completely bed bound I couldn't you know lift my arms above my head or anything um I really needed that help and my son was struggling because it was like personal care was a bit much for him you know being a young man and um 
yeah, they just didn't want to give me it, didn't want to give me it until I got inside help sort of thing. And then now I've got it and I'm terrified that if I give it up because I'm feeling quite a bit better, I'll get worse again, do you know what I mean? Because like just the last couple of days I've had a flare up, so I'm realising that I'm, I could go up and down all the time, do you know what I mean? Especially now they're going to change my meds and stuff, I think, so that's going to be interesting. I was meant to be doing all that recently, but obviously everything's changed now, so. Bye, Julie, darling. See you soon. Yeah, it really helps the um, bowl. Thank you, Julie. Let's go into this one a bit. What are we doing next? We've got this one. And then the um that one. Oh, and I've got to do the fragrance. Let me get the fragrance measured. <sighs> I love this fragrance. Oh, it's so like sweet and bubblegummy. <laughs> you know, like proper old fashioned, like hubba bubba type of bubblegum. That's what it smells like. Yeah, it does. Every, everyone always wants to eat my soaps and bath bombs. It's funny. I've had a friend that actually put a uh, soap in his mouth and didn't realise that it was going to be really gross to eat. <laughs> it still tastes of soap, even if it smells lovely. <laughs> yeah. Makes your mouth water, Brit, doesn't it? It's like, um, you can imagine it being like ice cream bowls and stuff, can't you, you know? or candy floss yeah I'd love to do some vendors really Martha yeah that's what it does with me it, it, like every time I've had a new med I've ended up in hospital so um, it's a bit of a worry when they start messing around with them what are they trying, like, uh, what is it you've got? You did tell me, I know, um, is it fibro that you've got? Um, it does suck when they mess you around. Is it, is it RA as well that you've got? I can't remember. Oh no! <laughs> That's funny. I'd love to do like the uh, stool or something. If I if I could only think that I could actually maintain it as a job, I would love to do it as a job. But unfortunately, I just can't create at that rate. Um, you know, it's be I barely managed to create for family and friends, like gifts for Christmas and that. But I would love to be part of the proper community. I want to do some of the um, competitions as well that have just been so like wrapped up in like moving house. Multiple foot sclerosis and now high blood pressure. Oh god. Yeah, multiple sclerosis we've got that I remember you telling me now too. My brain's like a sieve really. Um This is where it's going to go to the right, right colour. I should bring it over. A snow warning, how cool is that? Oh yeah, you need to do that though, Jimmy, because if you're not, you know, with recent events, you need to be making sure that you're on meds that are working for you. Um, but yeah, it's important to go in and have it done because they need to monitor you for it, don't they? The heart's a dodgy old ticker and you can't really risk it. 
they've told me that I've got this new thing as well, um, my thymus gland, which is in your chest here apparently, is enlarged much more than it should be. Um, and my lymphocytes have been high in that, which is all connected. And I have pre-cancer, a pre-cancer diagnosis for um, like all the myelomas and uh, lymph cancers and all that. And so now I've got to go through all of that as well. And I don't even know where I stand with any of it, if I'm honest. I'm just like, whatever. I'm just going along with it. I'm so used to this shit now. I mean, sorry, I shouldn't swear. But I'm so used to backwards and forwards and one health problem after another. You get one thing sorted and then another three things come along. <laughs> Sorry, but I do, I do. I have actually caught my fingers in it before. It probably didn't help the RA. Like my RA in my fingers at the moment is really quite bad. It's hard, it's hard to hold this, that's why I keep moving it. I don't know why, but I was doing really well. I've been doing really well all year, and now I've got a flare up come like it's sort of out of the blue and um i didn't do the but this bit did i, I didn't do the polysorbate so we'll do that quickly Now that's made that look like a baby pink, hasn't it? Do I need to pink that up more? And should I add a bit of blue to this to make it a little bit more purpley? Or should I go pink as well? I need the uh, Nikki on really, because Nikki is like some of these are for Nikki Jane, uh, Nikki vlogs um, uh, for her daughters, the lovely little girls that they are. So um, I'm very excited to be able to make her a few for Christmas. Um, and I need to know what, if I should add more purple or what. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like, it's supposed to be a purple bit, and it will start going purpley as well. This one will come up more like this one. It's crazy the way that it works, but yeah. I think we can add a little bit more oil in this one. This is a double batch and that's a single batch over there. Right, I could put some flowers in these, which might be nice. Like botanicals, dried botanicals. but I think it's going to be a glitter one, a glitter fest. These little lumps, Brett, I've got to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> down. Storm's coming up to say hello. He's not allowed. Get down, baby. Get down, Storm. Get down, good boy. Yeah. 
<laughs> right, my hand's killing me then. <laughs> Vibrating. I'm no good with anything that vibrates, Brett. <laughs> Now there's when this is when it really like starts showing up its real colour because you blend you rub it together and it really comes out. That's a good mix that is, it feels lovely. Feels right to pack up already, but I've got some spray. Alcohol spray to um moisten it a little bit more for moulding. I really should have brought my stall in. I had all good intentions to do it all right and have everything prepared, but of course, that was on Saturday. <laughs> there goes my son coughing. <laughs> right, I'm going to go. Oh, that's nice, Ginny. I wish they'd do that for me when I go into hospital. <laughs> it drives me mad every time I go in there. The constant disruptions, because I have to get... When, at first, usually when I go in, I'm on a full monitor, like, um, like an ECG machine for, like, the first week. They leave it attached to me while I have um, infusions of this thing called aminophylline, and it opens up your airways and stuff. They like forces them open, but they have to monitor you constantly while you're on it. And that's horrible because you're just stuck on the bed, can't move. Got machines all attached to you and bleeping going off everywhere. It's horrible. Yes, you can. I I do that all the time. I make up jars. Yeah, you know, like I get coffee in. Hang on, I'll show you. I get coffee in these jars and then after i've used the coffee i use them wash them out and, and sterilize them and that and i use them and i put um any bath bombs that don't work you know when they don't hold together <coughs> i mean it's still good bath bomb mix it just hasn't held together and, and it doesn't look as pretty so i'll put that in a jar and i'll do layers of that with epsom salts or, or pink himalayan sea salts and epsom salts and i've got some in my bathroom right now actually funny enough i just don't show making that because of the fact that it's just a simple like layer in it but it would actually be a quick, quick little interesting video to show what to do with bath bombs that don't work and I, I always use Epsom salts in every bath. I have a salt bath and usually with a bath bomb as well, to be fair, if I've got them, if I've made them. <laughs> true, Brett. Very true. So in soap making, one of the chemicals that you use is um, uh, sodium hydroxide. It's like it's like an acid. It's a, well, it's an alkali actually, um, I believe. But it yeah, it works like an acid, and it burns through skin. That's why you have to be all suited and booted to make soap um, in safety gear. With bath bombs, it's not really necessary. But I actually was meant to. Uh, like I've got my hair net on. I was meant to wear gloves, um, but it doesn't really matter because it's, you know, it's all good clean stuff. Makes me laugh when people say things like, "Oh, your your soaps are this, and your soaps," are... and it's like, it's um, soap, right? It's clean. Try using it. <laughs> um. You can, no, you can't really use Epsom salt in the shower, but I do make Epsom salt moon cakes. Yeah, their coffee jars are adorable, I love them. Um, 
the um, Epsom salts uh, moon cakes you can use as like a body scrub, like scrubbing it over your body, um, which works really like as a really hardcore um, exfoliator. I suppose you could use it like that, but you can't really use it in a shower, which is one thing I'm worried about because they're going to do some adaptions for me apparently in the near future, hopefully, as long as it goes through. Um, and if they do, then I might end up with no bath and only a shower, which I'll be gutted because I like my, my bath bombs. And I won't make bath bombs if I don't get one myself. I won't, I'll be like, no, I'm not making them now. <laughs> But you can have shower steamers, which I've got like um, menthol crystals that I'll add into shower steamers and they can go in the bottom of the shower and, and let off like Epsom, uh, like the, the menthol and eucalyptus and that. Yeah, yeah, I make the shower bombs. I have made shower bombs before, but not very often because I haven't got a shower. So I'm going to just wash my hands over here. I've got some disinfectant and that over there just to make sure I'm all clean and stuff. And um, here I've got embeds, which are multicoloured. Um, basically, uh, it's just a basic bath bomb mixture. So they, what they do is when you put them in the middle, they'll make the bath bombs spin around the bath and that. Hopefully, I mean, sometimes bath bombs sink. But the preference is to get them up on the surface and, and to spin around and make bath art. Like if you've watched any of my demos, you'll see what it does and that's why we love them. So we're going to give that a go. I'm going to try and make some hearts. I think I need to just do a little squirts with the alcohol at the moment. I don't want to go too much with it. You love my hair, net. Yeah, no, I haven't got much hair anymore either, Ginny. <laughs> yeah. That's why I always use the Epsom salts. Honestly, Epsom salts and hot and cold have been some of the only things that have benefited my pain at times. You know, literally, and I'm talking only natural things that worked. Nothing else worked. And I'm on all sorts of opiate medications to try and control the pain and that but no it's hot cold packs and um heat and cold packs and epsom salts and a few other natural things that we won't go into here <laughs> I'm thinking of heading back into uh, paganism a little bit more, Brett. I've sort of come away from it and been more spiritual, just into the spiritual side of things for quite a while. But I'm thinking of going back more to where I started with it. Hi, cows. Nice to see you going. This what I'm spraying in. Can I do a vlog on how I make the shower bombs? Um, yeah, I will do, darling. I'll, I'll do that for you. Um, this that I'm spraying in is this stuff over here. 70% uh, rubbing alcohol um, or isopropyl, um, isopropyl alcohol, which is not alcohol like normal alcohol, but it's um, like what they use in hospitals for cleaning wounds and equipment and stuff. Um, and it just dampens the mixture without activating it too much enough to get it to mould together without destroying the bath bomb materials and it dries out like yeah candles would be good I've got all the stuff to make candles I'm just not very good at it yet oat milk yeah I, I use a lot of oat milk I actually haven't put any milk I usually put milk powders in some bath bombs and I put oatmeal in some bath bombs but I haven't in these because we're going for the really girly pink glittery sort of type bath bombs today. Yeah, I always use essential oils. 
I wanted to make some of the tub teas. I'm really like, I've looked at buying like the tea ingredients and that to mix up my own ones. But I don't want to start investing in yet more ingredients and that when I'm, I've got so many soaps I need to make yet. That I've pl had planned for uh, like over a year. I think that's good, let's see. See, it's moulding quite well there. I might go with a little tiny bit more in there, but yeah, it's that's good. Because this is a big batch, it, it kind of needs a little bit more because it does dry out. But it should hold the moisture for a little while anyway. Still going everywhere. This is getting harder already. Darling, I love you very much. You come to see Aunt Cassie work. I'm making some girly bath bombs. I wonder if you might get one. <coughs> yeah, everybody hit like for me. Thank you. Everybody say hello to Simply Autistic, that's my friend's daughter. Yeah, stand mix is great for this, but I can't afford one. I've actually bought one for cooking, but I don't use it for um, bath bombs and that as well because it will mean that my chocolate cake tastes of bubblegum fragrance all. But um, I would like to be able to get a second hand one, just like this is old, this is my nan's old mixer. Um, it used to actually have a stand. And... Um, yeah, I just need to get like a second hand one that I don't mind using for this sort of thing, but I can't really afford it at the moment. It's like a mixer that I don't have to hold on to. Too moist too quickly now that it's not quite moist enough. The thing with bath bomb making is it's all trial and error, it really is. Like it's and you have to know the feel, like you can't really show the feel of what is a good bath bomb mix, but I've tried to express how to get it there, you know. It would, let, it would cause me much less pain if I had a spare stand mixer, to be honest. But I do thank God just for having a mixer because mixing it all by hand, like I used to do, is really a lot of hard work on my hands. 
Right, should we try and mould one? Should we try and mould a heart first? I haven't done a heart in ages. What's the better my coffee's gone cold? Mm. Right. Uh, what didn't I get out? Spoons. Hang on. going with some glitter. Ooh. There's some glitter. I'm going to use these ones. I think. What do we want? I think that's a really pretty glitter. You've got to understand that there's a lot of scuzzy stuff over there. That is a really nice colour. I am a person. Not overly surprising there, darling. Here comes Gracie home. <laughs> so, we'll give it a little shot of this stuff. Hi, honey. Hello. I'm live. Hello, Pinky. And the door's shut, so as the cats are out there, can you keep them out there for me? Because they're being very um, determined to cuddle me at the same time. Hello, Grace from. Is it Scarlet? Yeah. Um, are you? Or is it Scarlet on, or is it um, Mason on? Simply autistic is um, Scarlet's. She <laughs> just said yes. Yes. Love you, darling. Oh yes, that's a pretty one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you you can come and help me if you want. Make some bathrooms. I'm going out. Oh, are you? Okay, then at least you won't moan at me for making bath ones, right? <laughs> no! Oh. Uh, that's alright, Hennessy can stay. Oh, uh, yeah, Hennessy can stay in here for a minute. Hennessy, no, up on the side. Stay down. I've got dust in my eye, it's terrible. <coughs> and all in my nose. <coughs> They come live, so don't let the music come through here. Um, should we go with a purpley or a bluey? Because I quite like when the pink goes against the blue. Do you know what I mean? Hi, Nikki. Um, hello, hand. <laughs> Yes, yeah, she is. She's darling. She's a very good girl. Here's my um, Scarlet. She's got got a few issues, haven't we, Scarlet, with um, autism and um, so some starting of Tourette's, isn't it? But she's very open and honest about herself and her diagnosis is. And she's a good girl, aren't you, Scarlet? And you understand things very well. You're always a good girl for Aunt Cass. Well, almost always. <laughs> How's it at St. Peter? Well, I shouldn't actually say the name, should I? Yeah. How's it at school? Is it going good? Right, right, we'll do like this. I've got some blue glitter on there. And then we'll do like layers of it. A little bit more over that bit there. And then like that. And like that. Maybe sometimes. <laughs> Love you, babe. Um, should we put a blue embed in it? A nice round blue embed. And... Uh, This is a red, and it will release as a red heart-shaped one, which will go quite nicely, won't it? So I'll go with the blue on the blue side because there's blue glitter on that side. Okay, stick that in like that. Yeah. Then we'll fill this side quickly. Oh, my 
my babies are crying for me. I feel so bad. <laughs> Hi bears. <laughs> yeah, I am a bit of a, a scientist underneath the um, Mama Cass guys. <laughs> right, so we stack that up, stick a heart in the middle, like so, and fill her up. So that's called packing it, yeah. And then we have to bring them together and here's where I get nervous especially live because like I don't know if I've ever made a bath bomb the first time right <laughs> but we'll give it a shot yeah I might have to leave them in these molds to get them to uh, hold for this one because they're not very good molds they're just purely from Christmas tree uh, ornament you know so it's all about just trying to squeeze in together it's kind of held oh I don't know if it's gonna hold I'm gonna take it over to my box over there and put it in like this and then I'll unmold it in a little while once it's set because I don't think it's going to hold if I try and unmold it yet. I can already see a crack one into form. Yeah. Well it depends on the mould because some of the moulds that I've got here I'll show you soon will unclick straight away. But they're designed to do that. These aren't designed for the job. So you just have to work with what the equipment you've got, you know. Like I've, I've used all sorts of things to make um, these work. <laughs> I've also got like this big old one that's got like a dip in it. And you can make, um, that, can, that can give you something to put like a little bit in the top, you know. I've got a square thing, but I, it doesn't always hold either. Right. I think it needs a little bit more dampening. But I'll try and do that as we go along. I didn't put glitter on the bottom, duh. I am gonna actually pour a ton of glitter into one though. Ugh. I'm gonna go in with some glitter right in the middle so when it starts spinning because of the bath the embed it'll pour out a load of glitter into the bath girly I love all those girly glitters so much fun my girls sort of gone a bit like goth type thing or emo whatever they call it I don't know what it is nowadays but you know that thing and yeah so she's not so into the old uh, girly girly stuff now bit of a shame for me in it <laughs> she's like the first girl after three boys you know what I mean but never mind I like her um individuality she she goes with what she wants instead of what people expect of her and I like that Ooh, look we'll put two of them in
Alchemy 101. Yeah, it does stick to the bath. That's why I've put in certain ingredients that um, help it not stick to the bath. But yeah, some, some of them are terrible when it's um, not got polysorbate in and that it really sticks to the bath. But it is gorgeous. <laughs> it's worth it for the glitter. <laughs> Feels nice and compacted in there. No, Hennessy, stay down. Hennessy, no. Hennessy. sometimes if you get it compact enough it does work and it's okay but sometimes it's not compact enough and it won't hold I think I'm going to leave it in the mould just to hold so as it doesn't ruin it okay I can do one more of them first right um what should i go with next i'm gonna try a different one i'll try this pinky orangey one should i do half and half like half this color and half that color oh very glittery oh that's a really pretty glitter though no. It's a show. Ha ha. Um, and then we'll go. I think we'll go in with this one. Hi, Nikki. Look what I'm doing. A heart for your little girl. <laughs> right, what am I doing? I want to put in another embed go with purples <laughs> it looks lush <laughs> um, and put a red heart in the bottom there kittens they like can't bear to be away from me for five minutes Now we bring them together. Oh, this is always the fun bit, you know, you never know what's going to happen at this point.
Who got there? So glittery. And then of course you've got the back end that'll be purple, but I'm not gonna take it out, I'm gonna let it set in the mould. moisten it a little bit now again before I start moulding the round ones. Starting to lose it a little bit. Only about half an hour, an hour really, and then you can pop them out of the moulds and then leave them. I always leave them for about 24 to 48 hours before putting them in like packaging because um, then the moisture from like this can evaporate out of it and it will um, not like swell up in the packaging. Because the idea is, is that you want all of the activation to occur in the bath, you know. Yeah, I know, I can't wait. So, like, pleased that it's starting to pick up, but it's, like, so slow for me. Compared to all the other sopas and that, I'm really slow at getting my subs picking up because I'm not specific to just soaping or bath on making or whatever. I, I do a lot of different things on my channel. I'm interested in a lot of things as well outside of what I do on my channel, like the paranormal. Like I'm starting to think I might either venture into the paranormal on my channel or step away from the paranormal quite a bit and only watch the people that I consider as like friends that I really trust. Hey Andy! We don't talk about that, I love it. <laughs> yeah, that cherry bloom. I've been, I've been watching you since the start. You're going to do great, mate. Thanks for joining me, Andy. Nice to see you, darling. Andy has experienced my soaps. I don't think I sent you any bath bombs, did I? Because they're hard to send in the post, to be fair. Say hi to Becky for me as well, darling. I was thinking, like, because I've got, like, the EMF there, you know, should I be, like, trying to venture into it somewhat, like, just at home myself, you know, uh, seeing what I can, like, how I can open up for it but um i don't know the community is a bit hard work in it <laughs> like the pink one ah uh, there was there, there was some of the bombs yeah
Yeah. You never have liked the smell as much, have you? This one's the bubble gum one, it is very sweet, isn't it? It's very... Oh, these are really spooky. Yeah. Yeah. You can take my card if you want to take some, some money for some food. in the top drawer. Okay, darling. That sounds interesting, simply autistic. How do you know about that? <laughs> um, you have lucid dreams a lot. Yeah, I'd say that's paranormal, but not an angel. I don't really believe in angels, so. Um, but, yeah. Hang on, I've got to let the cat in. Cat in. Molding, shall we? Okay, we'll have to have a look at that then. Sounds interesting. I know that Hinchinbrook House is good, but um, there's lots of places that are quite good actually. Was you stealing the whole bucket of Kit Kat? No, I was going to take some, but then I liked it. ones are which I think these are just like that aren't they and these are the ones that you put the little attachment in on. Is that right? Yeah that's them ain't it? Okay. I have a jacket and a jumper in my bag just in case. Good. Where are you going? Well no, don't say anything too obvious about where you're going but No yeah. I'm just chilling with Sophie. Love you. Have you got my card yet? Yeah, it's on my phone. What? Okay, just look after it, please. Then. Yeah. And don't don't go over the top because there is money in there, but it's actually your brother's birthday money, so. <laughs> oh yeah. Carl's birthday money. It's his birthday coming up, isn't it? Okay, love you. Love you, babe. Bye. 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 Oh, she's doing so cute. I know. <laughs> she's so cute. Yeah, really, I didn't know that. I haven't heard about that, I don't know. And I, I sometimes wonder if um, people with, um, like on the spectrum of any nature, like they do seem to have a little more connection going on like in my experiences anyway it seems like some of them are connected some of the ones that i've spoken to personally you know like known grown up with personally or watched grow up personally i'm gonna do a little line of glitter going around the outside here so I've done like two different colours and now I'm going to do a little line of glitter going round. And then draw it back. Don't have a little bit of glitter at the bottom. Yeah, 
Yeah, I agree. Um, from what I've always seen is that young people are always more connected. I, I think I was much more connected as a child. I was much more conscious of things going on around me um, back then than what I have been as an adult. Because I'm too busy as an adult to think about things more. I would like to open up to it more. Okay, we haven't put any embeds in, have we? Um, all my little ones. Okay, got a little batch of embeds here. Little purple hearts, blue coffee beans, and a square red. Go in. Second square red one. Yeah. Get down, darling. No. Push it together. Let's go this. I find this bit quite hard, the squeezing. But I, you know, oh, oops, I've just broke it. Try again. See the glitter line has come up around it. Ta I want to make like I'm going to make a couple of batches over the next couple of days. Like there'll be boys ones and girls ones and all sorts because I've got quite a few people that keep asking me for Christmas ones so, and I usually that's what I give for Christmas presents is my soaps and bath bombs and I haven't made any this year so oops did it wrong I'm going to put some other glitters in as well I think this stuff's so messy it's ridiculous <laughs> you see properly yeah come out and like oh my god i just realized look the lid come off <laughs> it came off in the thingy okay uh <laughs> uh let me put that in there okay that'll be nice and glittery won't it look the glitter will be all over this one <laughs> Yeah, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's when guys come round after using one and they've got glitter in their hair and stuff. <laughs> OK, 
okay, Junie. I hope Mum's okay. Should I? You know, I won't do the glitter line because I didn't, but I'll do it on the other side. I'm going to put one of these in this side. And I don't need to do a glitter line round because it's all around it anyway, isn't it? Let's see. No, Hennessy, down. Down. Good girl. I know. It's the end of the world. didn't feel right. I lost half the batch. It's better when you scoop it together I find but it's not always easy to do it like that because you're trying to make a pattern. And Damon Salvador, have you been watching? <gasps> oh, I've been watching. I don't normally get into TV or I don't watch TV. I, I, I'm always on YouTube, you know. Um, and yes, the V Wars. Oh my God, <coughs> Damon Salvador on a eighteen plus. I was so excited. I've been watching it for the last uh, a weekend. <laughs> this one's covered in glitter. Look. Puddle. Looks messy, but. <laughs> Now what I could do is, oh this cat keeps jumping up, she's determined, I'll give her a juice. What about that glitter into the batch? Now that I've got all my stuff out, you see, I can actually like create a bit more regularly. It was just so all put away. Yeah, he's got gorgeous eyes, hasn't he? I actually know a lad that's got eyes like that. It's a shame that he's my son's mate, innit? <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> That was my, that was my one. True blood. Oh, Alexander Skarsgård. Oh my good God. I don't know what it is about him because I don't normally go for really tall guys. I don't, you know, I, there was just something about him. I think it's the vampire thing more than anything because I'm a right kinky bitch. I used to be anyway. <laughs> but yeah, oh my God. I used to obsess over him. I used to watch everything about him. He was gorgeous, yeah. Absolute stunner. <laughs> I don't want to put that one in there. I want to put this one in here, I think. <laughs> Emmett from Twilight was better. You like Emmett? Yeah, I thought you might like Emmett, actually. Yeah, he's a bit of a man, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, it was his eyes, yeah. I think, yeah, and he's just... He's, he had a presence. He's got a presence to him, hasn't he, that guy? And, yeah. I liked him <laughs> a lot. Uh, blue glitter. To denote the blue. Oh, to denote the fact that I've got a blue embed in there. Right, Hennessy, you're going to knock my camera flying, darling. <laughs> Just trying to get in with you. And yeah, I've got a thing about the swanky bad boys as well. That's why I don't. Yeah, the good looking bad boy type. Mm. Yeah, it just. Oh dear. I've always gone for the bad boys. That's why I don't date. I'm just re really, really terrible at picking people to date. <laughs> I wouldn't have a clue what's good for me and what's not. I go for exactly what I'm attracted to instead of exactly what I shouldn't, like, instead of thinking about it, you know. No, Jasper's not that good either, though. Jasper's got the nice eyes and that, but he's, um, no, he's not my type. He's a little bit too, um, I don't know, wild-eyed. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I don't know how long I'll keep the live stream going because obviously it's a quite a long process making these bombs, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to annoy people with it. Mind you, you can do anything on, me, on YouTube and annoy someone, can't you? <laughs> the dad, yeah, I liked him as well. Um, what was his name again? See, I read the books before the films. Like, I didn't want to watch the films until I'd read the books. And the books were very much more, like, I mean, I really got into the books. And the films were a bit of a letdown in comparison, do you know what I mean? But, um, I'm very much more a book person than I am a film person. No, I can't remember his name either. Dr. C -c it's Car Carlisle, Carlisle, Dr. Carlisle. Is that right? See, this one's got the embed showing at the top. So you've got a hint of what's to come in the middle. Oh, and it broke. Damn. It broke. Damn, 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 damn. Right. Just stick that one back together. Oops. That's a shame. I like that one. <laughs> it looks like a It does a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Baz. Very much appreciate it, darling. Yeah, it was Carlo, wasn't it? He was a shapeshifter, not well, if that's right. Yeah. I think that's why I like Eric Northman, like the, the dark side, you know? Oh no, it just won't stop breaking. I think the mix needs wetting up. Okay, I can do that. Once they start breaking down, it's because the mix isn't moist enough. Moist, does everybody like that name? Hi Mason, sorry I started before school ended. I was trying to get on even earlier, but it wasn't that easy to get on, so. Right, let's mix in some more moisture. Are you going to see it first? I bet that's good. Um, oh yeah, I liked him as well. Oh, what was his name on True Blood? Oh my God, Sam. Sam was his name, weren't it? obsessed with True Blood, it was one of the main ones that I was obsessed with, I mean I like Vampire Diaries and that, but it's like more younger in it, but True Blood was just, oh my god, that got me in trouble a few times, you know, <laughs> but then again Fifty Shades of Grey got me in trouble as well, I bought those books, ended up in right trouble, I hadn't dated for like six years and I ended up in a relationship, just because I was watching Blue, or reading actually, I was reading the, um, Fifty Shades of Grey. I 
might adapt the colour a little bit for this. What do you think? Should I change the colour up a little bit? We've got attacked by a spider plant, we'll get an advent calendar. Yeah, True Blood is definitely vampire porn and I'm so into the vampire thing. Joe Manson. Oh yes, Joe, um, Joe Mangiano or something in it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was lovely as well. Oh, he was hot. He had that like hot, dirty, not bad boy thing going on, like the the, the bruising nastiness, but like fucking loving you too. <laughs> I was like, uh. Oh, pretty much everyone on True Blood had me like that. You're doing well, Nikki. I was thinking I might change some of the colour now that I'm adding more fluids. So as I've got some of these colours. Oh my god, yeah. Talking of true blood's just terrible because I'm I was bad on that. I used to literally like get it as soon as it was out. V Wars, yeah, that's what we started talking about, Nikki, was V Wars. Damon Salvatore in 18 plus. Have some of that. It's a shame they can't bring Steph into it as well, and it's Stefan as well as Damon and have them both as really hot guys. <laughs> Ian Summerhouse is lovely. Oh yeah, I like Negan. You like Negan as well. <laughs> and Daryl, yeah. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Uh, I'm a celibate, like, I'm basically um, asexual and have been for about 12 years. I had a, had a brief period six years ago of having a couple of um, flings, if you like, but I'm, I'm definitely not a relationship girl. I don't want a relationship either, so I'm not that desperate like some people would say, but... I've always been quite happy on my own. Or I have in the last 12 years anyway. In fact, more happy on my own than I was in a relationship, so. He's like the sexiest. So is Paul Wesley, yeah, yeah. We were sat we was talking about the um the uh, true blood ones as well, you know. But yeah. I'm gonna add you on this babe. And that way you're on both accounts then. Um, but I'm thinking about doing the soap making live, some of it, because everyone keeps saying they want me to, but it's going to be hard with soap making because soaps can go wrong so quickly. Shall I add a bit more red to one of the uh, one or the other to make it a bit more bright? You'd love it. Oh my god, Nikki. I've got to get you watching it. You've got to watch it. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to admit something. I haven't actually watched Vampire Diaries to the end. I'm really bad, aren't I? But I stopped watching TV for a couple of years when I was doing my university degree. And I just stopped watching everything. Because I couldn't like do everything as well as watching TV. <laughs> do you remember when I went to university with your mum? Oh really? I've, I cried at the end of True Blood as well. <laughs> yes. Yeah, do you think, because I've done some pink and pink, but do you think I should add some of the red to one and bring it up into a different colour to mix up some other colours? Or maybe some blue? Yeah, I like the American Horror Story series as well. Steph was saying, um, Nikki, that she, she prefers like the American Horror Story to the vampires and that. Do the girls like blues or purples or reds or what? <laughs> Add it to the darker one, yeah, so I think it might be better in that. Do you think I should go with a bit of blue or a bit of red to add to it? Oh, good. Yeah, I like the witches one as well. 
small amount of glue. There's my glue. It gets so bad that it gets all over your hands, like really bad. You have to be careful with this stuff. That's what I ate this. Now we've got to make it come up darker. But my alcohol's run out. Grace was meant to bring me the bigger spray bottle, but you know. Dark Town. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up. Do you know what it's on? Because I desperately am... I'm trying to spend a bit of time watching films and stuff like that, like Netflix. And I've got Netflix, I've got Amazon Prime, and I've got um, Now TV at the moment. And I want to try and spend a bit of time away from YouTube, like on that sort of stuff. So... Um, I'm desperate for more things to watch that I'm going to enjoy because there's only certain things that I get into, such as vampires. I know, but I've watched most of them, Nikki. I've watched so many things. Anything to do with vampires or zombies uh, or werewolves, I've watched all of it. I've pretty much watched anything that's... Um, I watch everything to do with the Essex boys and all that sort of stuff as well. Look, here comes the blue. Really? Downloaded this new channel on what though? Like, is it like a separate thing where you just get Disney, just pure Disney? That'd be perfect when the kids were young, innit? Especially over Christmas. Oh my God, Disney over Christmas would be great, wouldn't it, when the kids are young? That's lovely. That's coming up pretty. I like that. Hey, Mason. You okay, babe? Salem's lot, yeah, oh my god. We have so much in common all us lot, don't we? It's funny. <laughs> On the fire stick, I've got the um, Roku. Uh, Roku 2 I've got. My son got me that. It's quite like brilliant. I love it. <laughs> so I might be able to find it on there, I think. Yeah, which kind of general? That was years ago though. I was very young, I think, when that was out, right? Like, really quite young. Few easy oh, right, yeah, nice. See, look, there's that nice purple colour coming up. We like that colour. You don't like cartoony anymore, more Scarlet. That's because you're getting all grown up now, aren't you? You're not allowed to grow up too quickly, you know. Okay, good. Let's get some of that. Real life, no so Oh, you like all real life films, do you? I like all documentaries in real life as well, though.
with a new Joker movie with Joker and Phoenix, yeah. Um, I like him playing that role, actually. I'm very impressed with it. I want to watch that. I think I'll put like that in there with the glitter. You're watching V Wars too, yeah, it's really good, isn't it? There is no logic in cartoons, they make no sense. That's true. What Vampire Show does Mum watch? She used to watch True Blood with me. We both got into True Blood, like I got her into True Blood back in the day. I don't know what she watches now though. <laughs> you watch Frozen 2 twice now, have you? Yeah, I was so sad about that. And then you've got the popping, it's popping through here. Let's hope I can put this down now. I actually have bath bomb mix all over my cooker top and everything now. Not from the ones that spill. Desperate for their litter trays, like <laughs> poor sods. You kicked them out the kitchen where their food and their litter trays are. Uh, I'm gonna go around with the purple. No, yeah, purple. Um, I think I'll put a lot of little embeds in this one. Like I'll layer it up. Here you go, look, and go like a blue, and then you can put a green in, you get like a little rainbow effect in there, yeah? A little, I can put that in the middle, yellow, uh, orange. Just like my cats and dog always wants to be near me, yeah. They absolutely adore me and I love them to pieces too. You're the editor, aren't you, Mason? He's, he helped me edit my cat video, my last one that I put up. I've actually got other ones to do, but I think I've lost them with my old phone. Um, Mason's very helpful. He's very, he's very good with all this um, technology stuff that I'm not so great at. You're a very helpful young man, aren't you, Mason? I'm trying to like sort of keep track of everything too. Baz wants to see Frozen too. <laughs> it's gonna wait till next week, bless ya. Um should I do that again on the other side or will that complicate things too much? I think that might complicate things too much. I'm going to put one of these like cupcake yellows in there. Because that would be an interesting combination. You teaching him Python? What's Python? Tiana's watching. Hi Tiana. Hi Tiana Janet Howarth. 
How rough is that it? Love you, darling. I hope you enjoy these when you get some. Oh, Mum's watching V Wars too, is she? The Auschwitz documentaries are very interesting. I tell you what, I was fascinated. I do like my documentaries. I'm I'm obsessed with learning. Like literally all day, every day. When I'm not on paranormal channels, that's what I'm doing. Is like educational stuff, documentaries, research of everything, whatever whatever I am interested in. I think that's my hobby. Come from the gate. Oh, thank you, Brett. Oh, I'm really glad, Nikki. Hi, honey. I'm live streaming, by the way. Are you right? Yeah. Gonna go with a big star in the middle. There's um, Scarlett and um, Mason on there. Hello, Scarlett and Mason. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you for joining me, darling. I want to go and see Frank and Frank's house as well. I've actually got a book about Anne Frank. Hennessy, can you let Hennessy out the kitchen door, babe? Because she's um, no, I've had to lock all the others out because they're just desperately trying to cuddle me. Thank you, Mason. Bless you. Do you think how do you, how long do you think it will take me to get to a thousand? I was really pleased to get to 900, but um, usually I try and I did try and do a competition before, and um, people got to experience some of my soap and that from that competition, and um, and I would have done it this time, but it's it's difficult because I haven't made anything. Can't really give out what you haven't created. Yeah, it's not going to take too long while I'm doing the lives because it does pick up like more interest, doesn't it? Oh, sorry, Elizabeth. I should have I should have um, put up a thingy messenger thingy, but um, obviously with everything going on lately, we've hardly even been able to speak. So <laughs> top. <laughs> That's so true, Brett. Though it's just getting crazy, like. I'm sorry, but they all jump on bandwagons as well. Like there is, like you know, you got you got to sort of not not try and be. Uh, what's the words? I don't know. Like the, the clickbait and that. It's, it's clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> Which it's fine if there's actually like real good activity being shown on the video. Then yeah. Ghost bath bombs. <laughs> I have got like um, hocus pocus fragrance oil and that, but I'm going to use that mostly in soap. Ta da! And go over there. Now I'm going to do one half pink and one half purple. Yeah, in the paranormal field, it's um, a lot. Of, there's a lot of um, clickbaiting and all sorts of games on in the paranormal field on YouTube, isn't it? 
There are, there are some good um, channels out there, I must admit, though, like that I, I've got a lot of trust and a lot of respect for, like Elemental Encounters and Sammy there on um, Life After Life. And, of course, my dearest Brett. Um, you know, there are a couple, and um, as they come on, or if I see them, I'll, 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 I'll recommend them to people. But, um, you know how it is. Yeah, that was so, it's so true, isn't it, Cherry? It's um, it's absolutely crazy that I mean, when I done mooncake bath bombs one time, and I was one of the first, like I was literally the second video, um, with mooncake, in, and they loved it, absolutely loved it. Uh, jumped straight on that, and um, I done Roland Jola feet mask. Oh my god. Like, who wants to see a video of someone trying out a foot mask, right? I I can't stand feet anyway. It's absolutely disgusting that anyone would want to put them on, like, a video. <laughs> and there I am, hating feet. And I put on this, like, because I had really rock-solid, like, heels and that. So I put on, like, um, this foot mask and done a review on it, thinking, oh, yeah, that would be great. Everyone will be interested in that. And um, I got 32,000 view views or something on it. And it's like the worst video I've ever created. The foot mask didn't work, didn't change a thing. I was like, are you kidding me? That's, that that gets all that and I get 100 views on, on making a soap that cost me you know, at least 40, 50 quid. Three days work and three days editing. And I can hardly get that seen. But a stick a foot mask on. Everybody loves feet. <laughs> Christmas, it'll be a Christmas wish miracle. Ah, yeah, that'd be nice, won't it? If I get if I get a thousand for Christmas. I know that my New Year's resolution is going to be to try and work harder and, and put out more on my channel because I didn't last year. This one is a half-half one. I like this one. I like the way it looks when it's half-half for some reason. It's very simple and elegant. And then, of course, you get the colour from the embed that will go and spin around and you'll get a pretty pattern. But I just like the way they look like that for some reason. Yeah, it's cute. I just, I've just always liked the little half-half ones. I have got half, uh, smaller moulds as well, um, smaller round moulds, and I've got bigger round moulds as well, but um, I think it's so much in one of the big ones, like the hearts are massive as well, um, that you really don't need that much in a bath bomb. Like, you don't really even need these much. You can do the smaller ones, and they're actually perfectly fine. Um, and then, but... When it's for little girls, you've got to do like the whole blitz, Glam glamorous as anything, you know. Ah, oh, it's been lovely seeing you, Martha. Thank you so much for joining me again. How many have I done now? I'm on. I've done three hearts and six bombs so far. So three hearts and six round ones. I might do another one of them actually, like that. Another half, half one. And I'll do a little multi-coloured one this way round. Who's driving out of here like that? Deck? Did I put a blue one in? Yeah, I did. And that one. And the 
Ini orang tim tim musik ya lah ini. Uh, the amount in equipment, uh, pretty much I've got most of it off of eBay and Amazon. Pretty much everything. Um, I do get sometimes the fragrance oils. My hands have died up. Um, I get the fragrance oils will often be... Um, recently I've been trying the Candle Shack ones, which have been great. Like, really good. I'm really impressed with them. Um, and other than that, I try Mystic Moments UK... Um, soap like, there's a lot of soap making companies out there to be honest um, which you can try but um, they can be quite expensive for things like the moulds and that and I really would recommend to just buy from like China or Japan or whatever I don't know um, on eBay and, and wait, wait for the equipment for maybe a month but um, you'll get a lot cheaper equipment that way because it's it's not worth spending a fortune i mean i i paid a good amount for these bath bomb molds but like as i've shown you these molds which are just christmas tree decorations they work these molds were a couple of quid a piece like they were literally a pound a piece or something <coughs> so the cheaper molds and that do work but this just won't these are so much better these stainless steel ones so Show me the hearts. I, I'm going to try and unmold one and I'll make another one. So as I can see, do, you can see me doing it. Ta-da. Okay. Let's see if I can get these out of the mould, shall I? <laughs> yep. One's a little bit unsafe, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, they're like really heavy, these big hard ones. Molded one's a little bit dodgy looking, it might fall apart. Like, you, can, you always have to expect that a couple of them will fall apart because you're never going to get all of them working, it's just the way it is. Bath bombs is very much trial and error. And once you get down to the bottom of the batch, it just doesn't uh, hold as well. Usually, that's when I usually start making up like jars of it. Yeah, they, they're the same material, but basic bath bomb. Um, yeah, they do look like dog biscuits as well. I've got all sorts of moulds for them, like little ones. You like the new channel picture, do you? Um, yeah, the little things that go in, they go, they spin around and stuff they, and, and send out, shooting out different colours, so as you get like a rainbow effect. It's quite cool. So if you watch some of the demos that I've got up, of my bath bombs you'll see what I mean like the colour comes bursting out of the middle <laughs> that's okay Elizabeth anytime just ask you know you can always talk to me anytime um, we are doing me and Ginny are going to do this um, get my group running a bit better and, and have everyone adding their own stuff to it like you know if you make something you can share what you've created with us Right, so here's how we go with the heart mould. Put a little bit of glitter on the base and we'll... do some stripes. Right, let's go in with some... See, the different shapes also make it sort of do different things. It's quite, and where you put them, like if you load up one side, you'll get it spinning around, you know. So I might do that with this to show. You can get this side loaded up. Okay. There you 
I need to take that. And then over on this side, again, stick a little bit of glitter in the base. And then I won't put any bar, uh, embeds on this side. And what will happen is it will make it go throughout the bath. It will spin all around the bath, make really good patterns. Yeah, it's a Facebook group. It's called Mama Cash Soaping Spoony. It's literally brand new. Hardly anyone's on there yet. Um, I've got the Facebook page, which is Mama Cash Soap and Spoony. That's where I share all my stuff. Um, but I've done the group, so as everyone can add everything they want to join in on. And these are really hard to join up. <laughs> They are only Christmas decorations these, they're Christmas tree ornaments, they're not the easiest to use to mould. I think I invited Mum earlier actually Mason, I always invite your Mum because she's my main supporter. <laughs> couple of pages some some are relating to the health problems and that and some are relating to soaping and that like soaping's more of a passion for me than the bath bombs is to be honest like the bath bombs is just something that everybody loves everybody loves the bath bombs you know um but i like the creating side i like making my soaps it's really good fun you can hear my neighbours by the way, they've been back doing banging and stuff for quite a while now. <laughs> Thank you. She's at work today, she bless her. this side of it. Cherry, it's very nice to have you, darling. Thank you ever so much for joining me. <laughs> I've been on for two hours, have I? That's the thing with bath bomb making, it takes ages. But I do, like, it's relaxing still. But yeah, I was going to stop and do change over to making a video with it, but seeing as Grace has gone out, it's not too bad if I stay on now. So, like, she won't be annoyed with me if I do. And at least it's doing something 
rather than just sitting around talking for three hours, which I think is a very big waste of time half the time. Well, unless you're talking about something interesting anyway. <laughs> not a big one for just gossiping and that. It's not that much fun to me. I like to um, actually discuss things and that. Ta-da. Oops, there we go. Scares me taking off that thing. This is going to take me forever to clean up after as well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you don't realise quite how much you can make up. And especially when these big ones, I mean, these big ones take um, about the size of two and a half smaller ones because you don't even realize how much you can pack it oh, i'm sure you are elizabeth i'm sure you are you just need to find what you enjoy um i'm not very artistic i can't draw or anything like that but all my family are artists like literally proper artists they're all artists and i'm i can't draw a circle to save my life <laughs> um but this is what i can do do you know what i mean so we all have some in a beauty to let out somewhere along the line certainly something good to do with your time you know if you're gonna if you're gonna do something as a hobby it's good to actually create something out of it that's like you can give us gifts and you can use for yourself and you know for me it actually helped with my health problems because of the bath bombs and the materials that i use are good for pain and that with Jan and Queen. Oh my god, yes. I love homemade scones, actually. I'm not very good at making them. I'm, like, good at baking, but not very good at scones. I've, like, made them a couple of times and they never came out like I wanted them. I do tend to do cupcakes. I've got, over there, I've got, like, two trays of, um, cereal bars, homemade cereal bars to cook, um, cut up. That's basically what I live on throughout the week. Um, to keep me keep my weight down now that I've lost the weight very healthy superfood bars and that really uh, is all I eat most of the time there we go cherries I like cherries cherries are good for RA you know no, it's broken. Oh my gosh. It broke. That's because it's starting to dry out a bit more, you see. That's what happens as you get like that you're doing this. See if I can salvage it into one. Yeah, cherries are really good for arthritis. They um, help reduce inflammation. Good for all types of arthritis, I think, for gout and all that lot like as well. Saved. 
liked it. Not as pretty, but. Mmm, yeah, yummy. Ah, oh, thank you, Mason, you're darling, I love you. Okay, I'm gonna mold a couple more circles up and then that'll be it for today and I'll bring you back on another day to do some other colours and fragrances and that. It's, it seems a lot easier to actually come on as a live stream and show you these things, doesn't it? I never thought it would be better that way, but yeah, it is actually a lot easier than me trying to... Excuse, my neighbours are doing DIY now. Right, so I've got to get another one. Okay, darling. Yeah, the neighbours are now making a lot of noise, so I better come off in a little while, otherwise it'll be too much for you all. Oh, God, yeah, Jan, oh. With jam and cream is, yeah, me, that's me, that's my thing, that is, I'm really bad for, I've got a sweet tooth, I like cakes and biscuits and scones and stuff like that, and I like um, cream and that. Yeah, that's why I have, like, on a daily basis, I eat the cereal bars that I make, which I'll show you one day, um, and I eat them with Greek yogurt and it gives me that feeling of having something sweet in me but it's really healthy food like you know there's hardly any sugar in there or anything oh clotted cream oh my god and there we go half half one Now I'm going to make it a bit simpler. <laughs> oh my God, there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> Literally, it's all over the shop. Right, just mix that through a bit like that, and then we'll go like this. Um, and then we'll go, I've got the embed in there, so put that in around it, hold it in place. How many so far? You break the camera. Yeah, do lives, Liz. Like you can do it, like you don't have to shake your face on camera. I didn't for a while. Like I, I've done a lot of soap making and that without putting my face on there. You got the heart on the top. Just need to dust off the little bit there so as you can see it. Heart in the middle. And it's like a marble effect like this. Um, so we've got one. Oh, that fell apart. See, it's starting to dry out again now. Oops, it helps if I don't trip over everything. It's starting to get a bit dry now, so I need to sort of hurry it along because I can't really add much more. Because it will just activate it badly. Yeah, it does um, lose whenever I do things. I always end up getting it wrong live or getting it wrong on camera. But yeah. There we go. That's salvaged, salvaged it, I think. It's not perfect though, it's a bit wobbly. Oh, 
Ah, a bow dam. Good boy, Mason. So far there's nine round ones and six heart shaped ones. That's pretty good, isn't it? And that was from, like there was four back, uh, four scoops of, four cups of bicarb and two cups of citric in here. And the other one was two cups of bicarb and four cups of citric, uh, two and one cup of citric. So that's like a six cup batch of bath bomb material made all that. Not bad, really. The minion. You like my minion? That's because somebody called me a minion to someone else, Mason. Have you ever known me to bow down to anyone else? <laughs> Uh, Auntie Cass has a tendency to do what she wants when she wants, doesn't she? Without being told what to do by anyone. Oh, I like pineapple upside down cake as well. Mm. Welcome back, Kirsty. Adult themed from the baby home on Jana. I have actually thought about doing that before as well, Brett, where you make it so as it's like a a picture with bath bombs in that. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've got to get these moulded because they're not going to hold up, boys. Guinea pigs, Kirsty. Yeah, it is. Um, I've never, I've never bowed down to anyone in my life, um, or done things because people told me to, or listened to anyone else's opinion on anyone else. I make my own mind up. I do. I'm quite good at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Gru, Gru taught me everything. Where would I be without my brew? <laughs> oh, my mum used to have guinea pigs. She loved her guinea pigs. And yeah, your mum said you're not allowed on the live streams, babe, um, which is very understandable and fine with me. I understand why. There's a lot that goes on on YouTube that I didn't want um, any of you guys getting upset about. Um, I'm glad that you're on watching me, but um, I wouldn't want anyone to upset you. Do you know what I mean? I'd be more than angry if anyone caused you any problems on here. And there's been horrible people about me, so um, I know that that would upset you. Doesn't upset my kids so much, but it upsets my friends' kids. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm going to get this into one that it's not going to fit, is it? I think I might have to do a small one. I'm going to do it into a small one. Mm. 
my back's throbbing. Yes, it is a minefield on YouTube. My my son said it. You know, it just goes to show that that is what the world is like out there. There's a lot of people. MJ has a really cool mask, does she? They have to wait to hear that. That I love that sound. That's so cute. Um, I look busy. Hi, Karen. Are you okay? Um, yeah, I'm. I'm trying to get some bath bombs made for Christmas presents for friends, and. Uh, children and so on you know as you do yeah they really i mean i've actually been so shocked by it, elizabeth i mean i've known you for what I've, I've seen you in the community for a very long time it's been years and it's just um oh well done to her mason tell her well done i like that making things herself um i've just been so shocked by how nasty things can get like and personal and you know oh there's just no need for it is there really we're all we're all just here doing our thing watching what we want to watch and yeah you'll probably get one darling i'll make i'll make some boys ones tomorrow or something it's just so it's a real i'm gonna wet this up i'm sorry but it's not gonna hold i can feel it um it's a real sad shame to me because i love the paranormal community i've been here for ages watching everyone uh i've supported numerous new teams as they come up through the ranks and i actually genuinely genuinely am not sure if i want to be a part of the community anymore and that shouldn't be how it is is it um and I don't want to lose all my friends that I've made over the last like five, six years, five years I'd say it is, four or five years maybe. Um, that I've gone in regularly to all of the channels. Yeah. Um, and I just didn't know that there was this side of the community at all until I, I jumped into it <laughs> head first. I want to be a part of it and I want to stay supporting everyone and that but I don't want like the constant drama and hate and oh it's like so toxic Yeah, I know so many like that just put that on their like on their name and they're really just sitting at home talking to the camera doing live streams what I would call a chat live stream you yeah? um, know and personally it's all well and good for a bit of a chat but that's not what I'm here for and I'm tired of trying to sub find decent channels to watch that I want to entertain myself with only for it to be um, like this snarled is that a um, YouTube channel Mason it's just a shame really I just like I've always come and relaxed with everyone and joined in and and now even when I do join in it's like there's some bitterness in that you know you know when people are commenting and, and making sly digs and stuff and it's like it's they've actually destroyed the community in all honesty and they're not even paranormal investigators they're mostly just people sitting around slagging off other people doesn't make any sense to me it's actually destroyed the community yeah i, I do watch ghost adventures kirsty i watch all all paranormal stuff but most aren't very honest so <laughs> like you have to take it for what it is entertainment you know some of it's entertainment and some of it's proper ghost hunting 
and I've seen a few, I, I, I watch a few channels on YouTube that are proper people that really seem to have a connection. And then you've got the ones that are bigger names and just use it to take advantage of people. And then you've got the smaller ones who really aren't anything at all but just wanna be. And spend a lot of time putting other people down. And it's really not necessary. It's like uh, the, the paranormal community is going down. Nobody wants to be a part of it anymore. Yes, please do, Elizabeth. I, I actually know that I watch all, a hell of a lot of what you watch, but... Like, in some channels I've been watching for years, I just don't talk. And in some channels I've talked for years. Um... Some channels I wish I'd never talked in. <laughs> Paranormal entertainment, that's right. It's, you know, if, if you know that, if you don't think it to be like, oh my God, they're telling us the truth. There's the last one, guys, and it is just a purple, but it'll have lots of lovely colours in it. And I can see it's starting to crack slightly, of course. I hate it when they crack, it annoys me. And that's it. Yeah, I can't believe I've actually done that a live stream making. Uh, <laughs> thank you everyone for joining me, guys. I really appreciated it. It's been a long one. I very much appreciate you all sticking by me. American ones, yeah. I like the American. I like some of the American ones, but the thing with the American ones is it's not places in England. Um, so I like the interest of knowing about places in England and the ghosts and that. But I do like the Ameri some of the American ones. They are good. Some of them are good. There's a couple that I've been watching recently that, are, that I've got into. A, po a lot of politics and bickering going on behind the scenes of the, some of the paranormal community. I find it um, some of the fans that are the worst, unfortunately. Um, some of the makers as well, the creators, they have a tendency to be nasty towards each other and disrespectful towards each it, other. It's just not necessarily that. I mean, you should all be working together for the greater good. Um, okay Mason I'll try and make sure that I get so as it's live when you're at home the only problem I have with that is Gracie gets a bit distressed sometimes with the noise you know she doesn't like noise so sometimes I have to do it in the daytime but if I do it in the daytime you can always watch back darling and I'll um, and comment for me and I'll make sure to comment back to you. I'm trying to find the one that's got the bit in it. That's the thing, we're all out to find out like what we want to know about the afterlife. Um, yeah, and it is, it's something that they could... <clears throat> There's a lot of people in the paranormal community, in in the chatters, in the in the fans, that are desperate people. I myself came as a desperate person, a desperate woman, wanting to know. <laughs> um, bless Gary. Um, there's people wanting to know. You know, I I needed to know. I needed some sort of comfort that um, what was coming was going to be not too bad. Do you know what I mean? Or like that I'd have people there for me. My my loved ones would be waiting for me or something I don't even know what I wanted to know to be honest but I came with that intention not with the intention of having fights with people and, and talking jazz to people or, or having my personal and most emotional horrible things that I've been through brought up as a reason to have a go at me when I don't feel I've done much wrong the fact is we all want to know the same things we should all be supporting each other and life's too short for this um, I hope to God that it does start calming down soon because it's ruining the community I really can see that the community is going down in a big way it's lost all sorts of respect and um, I'd like to see you all get back up there because you're doing like you Sammy, you Brett you're you're um quite new to starting up and you've been doing so blooming good 
to have other people ruin that for you just because like there's this jealousy and nastiness and spite that goes on like I want to see what you've got to put out I don't want to be pushed out of this community I enjoy this community I enjoy talking to you I want to see what you guys have got to give so I'm gonna be here I've decided I will be here I won't pull away from the community but I will be a bit more gentle about what I'm saying and where I'm saying it I'll talk to those that I can trust to talk decently back to me that's all I ask as well is just be decent yeah I'm not, I don't expect anything out of anyone but just be decent be polite be respectful as I say life's too short isn't it guys life's too short yeah that's how I felt Elizabeth the last couple of days I have honestly felt like I don't know if I should be here anymore I think I should leave the community and I don't want to do that. I don't want to give up on my channel either because I will end up like not as interested if I'm not on YouTube all the time. Do you know what I mean? Yes, please do. That was just absolutely fantastic, Brett. I really enjoy the Are You Psychic ones. I enjoy all of your um, um, videos or live streams, Brett. I really love your style i think you've got it down pat mate. this is exactly what the youtube community like paranormal community needed was something a little bit guided so as everyone knows what to talk about instead of chatting rubbish you know sounds got a big underground isn't it? I don't want to feel like I've got to leave. No, yeah, I don't want to feel like I've got to leave because of it all. But um, it has been so distressing lately and it's just exhausting. Like, literally, I feel like I've, like, my channel's getting tarnished from it and that, and it shouldn't be like that. I haven't done anything wrong, otherwise I would have had trouble for all the years I've been on YouTube, you know? I know you will, Elizabeth, I fully, and that's the same as why I get on well with Nikki, because we've always been very straight up front with each other, and we talk enough for me to know, you know? Um, and I don't mind if people have something negative to tell me. I'm fully aware that I'm no perfect person. I won't leave you, mate, never. I'm not bothered about big YouTube, either, yeah. It does have a nice community with a smaller channel. It really does, Sam. Like, the, I love being able to talk to you guys properly and, and get to know you all as well. Because then, I, like, when Brett gave me a reading, I felt like he was connected with me. Nikki did the same, actually. Because um, you can't connect with someone like that unless you've actually got to know them. Thank you, Elizabeth. I really appreciate everything you've been with me through the last few months. You've really supported us. And I know that you've never been one to start trouble either. It's just a shame that you've had to be dragged into it. Thank you, Kirsty. That really means a lot to me. Yeah, they. Uh, do you know what I said to everybody involved in all of this? Actually, at one point, um, I, on 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 the side where I've been trying to keep things calm, and I said to everybody, you know, I was told at the get go, block it out and just don't bother looking anymore and I should have stuck by that and I should have got them all to stick by that and I know that you were the one that told me that and you were right about it, you know? I, uh, I don't like to admit when a man's right but, you know, you were right about it and I'll give you your due there. And, and I know 100% that it's the best thing to do. Like, ever since I've stopped watching and stopped paying attention to what they're saying about me, I'm not that bothered. I just sort of am um, tired of it all a lot. I'll have your back to Nikki 100% mate I've, I've, I've seen enough with you and spoken to you enough properly now that um, I know you um, better than I think most of those people do that have something to say so I'll, I'll keep my judgments um, from where I the respect that you've given me you know oh no that's okay Sammy it wasn't your intention at all like I can completely understand uh, brett was right elizabeth by the way i completely understand sammy it was hilariously funny that was awful because i hate laughing at bad things but i always do laugh at bad things <laughs> but 
Um, you know, you would just laugh. It was just funny. Griff's, Griff's face, bless him. <laughs> but I do. Uh, but at the same time, I absolutely adore Rose. I've got so much time for her, and I know that you wouldn't ever mean any harm or disrespect. I don't think for a minute you meant any drama at all. And I hope, I hope to God Rose doesn't feel that way. You know, it's just that it's just the way it is, isn't it? Some people like like you're an Irish girl for a start, and, and you know the Irish are famous for making a laugh out of things, isn't it? <laughs> but your laughter, oh my God, I was literally like I was almost wetting myself with laughter watching it. I literally, I was like, oh my God, I just cracked up. It was your laughing that made me laugh. <laughs> Yeah, it was just a light-hearted vid, and uh, you know, you wasn't sitting there calling Rose at, uh, and names or anything like that. You were just laughing at what happened and a very unfortunate situation. And these things do happen, especially if you're opening your house to the public. You know, um, unfortunately, it is part and parcel. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, darling. Thank you, Nikki. Um, yeah, I just, I'm just going to try and get on with myself now and get on with my friends and, you know, I'm trying to be a good person. I don't want to be a bad person. I don't want people to think of me as a bad person. It's like, it's kind of a shock to me to have anyone say anything like that about me because I've never had it. Like, literally never had anyone say anything rude or negative about me because I just don't. I don't start out trouble, I don't try and cause trouble. But now I'm being told that I have done so. <laughs> but anyway, I love you all guys. Thank you so much for joining me. That was brilliant. Thank you, Buzz. I love you, dude. That's really good to hear. Yeah, I mean, I laugh at everything, mate. I was fucking dying for like three years. The last three years, I thought I was going to die. And to, in all honesty, I'm just bloody happy to be here. And I am genuinely happy. I don't... I don't get stressed out. I don't get wound up. You was on the floor laughing. It was hilarious. But, yeah, I, oh, I just... Um, I don't want anyone to think negative thoughts of me. It's not my intention never to be disliked or... or give anyone reason to dislike me, you know. Um, I'm quite well known for looking after people and being, you know, kind around here, so it's sort of weird. Love you guys. Thank you. Love my hat. Keeps the hairs out of the stuff. <laughs> but thank you ever so much for joining me. I really need a coffee now. Is anyone on tonight? Who's on tonight? Ah! <gasps> Oh, it's Elemental Encounters, isn't it? Everybody, head on over to Elemental Encounters. They were in the stream earlier. Please head on over to Elemental Encounters. They are at Rose's Hell House tonight. Hopefully no, no plates involved this time. And um, it will be good. I really think it will be good. I, I feel the vibrations from that place are perfect for Elemental Encounters. It's going to be great. I am going to try my best to stay awake for that. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you soon, the minion. <laughs> see you later, darlings. Love you.